Hey, this is Joshua Catcher from The Discerning Brute. And this is Chloe Joe from Girly Girl Army, and we're here today with Elizabeth Olson from Olson House Shoes, which is our favorite vegan shoe line in the world. We're quite obsessed with it. And Chloe today was modeling some of the new collection and doing some really hot photos. And we're just gonna ask Elizabeth some questions about her shoe collection. One of the first obvious questions that everyone should know is, you know, where can we get these shoes? A number of retailers throughout the country carry the line, and also stores internationally. It's all listed on the website. Cool. And do you have anything for guys coming out? We do. I'm waiting on samples right now. Hopefully going to launch it for fall 09. As you know, Girly Girl Army is a mailing list full of cruelty-free girls who don't wear leather or fur or wool or even silk, and so the question is, what inspired you to start a vegan shoe line? Well, I haven't eaten meat in 20 years, and I've been a vegan for the last two years, and there really wasn't a line of footwear out there that I wanted I wanted to wear. And the other thing is I don't want to support lines that do um, synthetic shoes simply because it's cheaper, um, and they're not really paying attention to the effects that it has on the environment, and I really wanted to research different types of materials you could use besides PVC and PU. Right. So what is the next shot you're doing? Let me see those shoes. These are the most comfortable ever shoes. I have these in three different colors. You know I have them in black and I have them yeah, in white yeah, yeah. and sweater. And these are just a new, I guess, a new colorway, but they feel like like they feel like snakes game, don't they? Yeah. Minus the murder and brutality. Excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom. Josh! Are you accessorizing? What's this? Elizabeth, do you have anything to dance with that band? You should wear it. I should wear it. You should wear it like that. Well, you look like that commercial, you know, where the Indian woman has one tear running down her eye for pollution? It's a man. <laughs> oh, I thought she was just butch. Most people don't know that typical shoes that are made from leather, the tanning process is so terrible ecologically. And they think that leather, because it's a natural product, that means that it's healthy and that it's safe for the environment and not only is it coming from a really cruel you know industry but it's also really devastating to the ecosystem that and i think that a lot of people think that leather is just a byproduct and there are cows that are I mean, other animals that are killed specifically for their leather we keep getting tricked by all these websites that say vegetable tanned leather and so we think yeah. vegetan which is a wonderful synthetic fabric which we often wear in our in our shoes, but um, what about vegetable tanned? Um, I was just reading something from a leather conference, and um, one of the leather manufacturers actually admitted it's the same. Really? So it's like humane meats. It's a it's you one heard big it first myth. Here. I it's had no idea. Myth. It's the same thing. It causes the same amount of pollution. I use a lot of different materials that a lot of people aren't using, like ultra suede, which is one of the main materials in the collection. Um, I use very little PU or PVC. There's so many materials that you can use. Here's the, here's the thing, is that women are so squeamish in general about blood and guts and war, and yet we're wearing the skins of another being on our person. It's so incongruous. And so when we look at, at lines like Olsen House and we see our options, stylish, beautiful, elegant, just matches everything, but also our fashion forward, there's no question as to making the switch. It's not so much of a compromise anymore to, to make these choices. If we have stuff like this, it's like, why do you need to have shoes that are exactly. both environmentally destructive and cool? And I just feel like if everybody had these options, that it wouldn't even be an issue. Tell me about this shoe. I just think it's so great. It feels like snake skin, and uh, you didn't have to actually kill a snake to get mm. this. This is actually the material is ultra suede, and it has like um, a coating pattern. And they actually, it's actually like a heat process where they apply the pattern. When I saw these shoes and these shoes and the rest of this Those amazing baby line, cute. I wanted to procreate instantaneously. I think I started <laughs> ovulating as I was looking at the shoes because these are just to die for precious. They They're are. cuter Those than cute. Are so, so cute. Yeah. A children's gladiator sandal. There's that, nothing that to is, That is so clever. So we'll hopefully see. we'll be seeing Olsen House everywhere soon. Yes. If you guys support it, which I hope you do. Thanks, Elizabeth. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe. Oh, now we now Vegan love. We reveal our hippiness now. <laughs>
Does anybody have granola? Uh -huh. Granola? <laughs>